The Air Force Sergeants Association is an important part of the military coalition, which advocates on behalf of enlisted members on Capitol Hill. The military coalition ensures all military members, past, present, and future, are provided with what they need to guard our nation's freedom. As NCOs, you are familiar with Air Force Instruction 362618, which encourages you to join associations like AFSA. Let me share with you a few reasons to support the Little Brown Book. Here's the problem. Congress consists of 535 members, but only about one-fifth of them have a military background. Congress faces major decisions to reduce our nation's growing debt, currently over $17 trillion. We want to do all we can to ensure the plan to balance the budget is not at your expense. So why join a professional military organization? As an NCO, here are a few initiatives that AFSA and other members of the military coalition are working. Let's first focus on your pay. The current law dictates a 1.8% pay raise. However, the current trend in Congress is to give you less than that. As an NCO, if you are earning $40,000 per year, the difference between a 1.8% and 1% pay raise could cost you $320 annually. Let's shift our focus to education. As an NCO, we encourage you to take advantage of tuition assistance and the post 9-11 GI Bill. Your education will pave the way for greater success today and tomorrow. The military coalition and AFSA are working hard to ensure these benefits are not lost. Some in Congress see these initiatives as a cost-saving opportunity. Let's talk a little bit about retirement. Retirement is a hot topic when it comes to cost savings. Plans such as withholding retirement until age 57, age 62, and reducing percentages all gained congressional traction over the past few years. AFSA and the Military Coalition will stand tall to ensure you get the retirement you rightfully earned. You worked hard and sacrificed much to serve in our Air Force. Your family made sacrifices as well. You have a right to fairly priced medical benefits while you serve and after you retire. AFSA and the Military Coalition will fight hard to ensure that you and your family continue to have the medical benefits at a fair price that you deserve. I joined AFSA in 2008. Um, it looked like a good opportunity to join a professional organization, but as I learned more, I really came to value the advocacy that AFSA gives me on Capitol Hill. My membership in AFSA Chapter 102 is highly important to me because they're kind of like an extension of my own family. I'm very big on the Air Force family concept and I'm also big on the AFSA family concept. So it feels good to be able to be around like-minded people who are interested in preserving our benefits, getting together, doing great things in the community, and being able to serve others. Since 1961, AFSA has carried on a proud tradition of supporting airmen and their families. But we're only as strong as our membership. With your help, we will continue to be a powerful voice.